hey guys welcome back to our channel it's your girlfriend Elungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel we post reaction videos so if there is something that you guys want us to react to drop the link down below and we'll be more than glad to react to it you can find us on instagram and facebook as funny and jesse and feel free to um reach out to us we'll be more than glad to interact with you check out my blog morning coffee with funny i post some positive stuff and yeah enjoy the content that i put out so today i'm going to be reacting to where is the city of the draw powerful hadith so without wasting time let's get into the video what did the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam teach us in regards to how to react primarily to the fitna of the jah. In the Arabic, the jah said, fi khuruj. I will be given permission to leave khuruj. Now this word khuruj is very interesting in the Arabic language and has to do with many of the ahadiths that relate to the end of times and is a proper language of the end of times. So I will come out and travel the earth. There will be no qariya. Now keep this in mind. There will be no qariya. There will be no qariya. There will be no qariya. There are three words in Arabic language that mean city. Balad, Qariya, and Medina. Qariya is a city that is amongst some of its qualities. When you look at the word Qariya in the Quran, one of its qualities is a town or a city that is disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Mecca is Umul Qura in the Quran, the mother of the cities. So it is narrated, فَأَسِيرَ الْأَرْضِ I will travel the earth, فَلَا أَدْعَى قَرِيَةٍ I will not leave any qariya. So he says there will be no qariya, no disobedient place except I will go there. A organized group of people running a city that is in disobedience to Allah except I will go there. Which will be the whole world as you will see. But this is what Dajjal says about what he plans to do. And there will be two qariyas two qariyas, two organized places, he will not be allowed to enter. One is Umm al -Qura, the mother of the cities. He will not be allowed to enter Mecca. And he will not be allowed to enter Medina. So Dajjal is not allowed to enter Mecca. He's not allowed to enter Medina. So meaning Mecca and Medina will be qariya, will be cities at that time in disobedience to Allah. And this is confirmed in the sayings of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Medina will become like Yathrib and Mecca will be in shambles and in disobedience to Allah. Look at Mecca today, it's already in disobedience. So think about the future. So he is going to travel the earth okay, in 40 nights. Asiru fil ard fala ad'a Now this is the most important word. Ad'a, I will not stay. فَلَا أَدْعَى قَرْيَةٍ إِلَّا إِحْبِطُوهَا Okay, he said, so I will get out and travel the earth and I will not spare any town where I would not stay. أَدْعَى قَرْيَةٍ إِلَّا أَحْبَتَ أَحْبَدْتُهَا Except I come down to it. So any place that is a city that is inhabited by a group of people in which there are sins happening or some disobedience happening, or just any city, except I will come down to it. So now that we've clarified this, now let us clarify the next point. What did the Prophet tell us, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what to do when you hear about the Jal? He says, Qala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Man samiya bid the Jal, whoever hears of the Jal, meaning, when you hear of his coming, right? فَلَّيْنَا anhu. Then turn away from him, flee from him, go in the other way. So where will he come? He will come to every city. So the Prophet said, leave the city. 
من سمي بالدجال فلين عنه فوالله إن رجل يأتيه وهو يحتسب أنه مؤمن So there will be one person he will consider himself a mu'min and he will go to Dijjal. And the muhaddisin they've said different things about this which I will share with you. But he will have shubbah is what the scholars they said. In rajalan ya'tihi wa huwa yahsibu annahu mu'minun fa yattabi'hu mimma yab'athu bihi min ash-shuhbat. And so he will come to him. He will begin to what? Follow him because of his doubts. So Dajjal will be able to put doubts even in a person who thinks he's a mu'min. And what did the Prophet tell us? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, turn away from Dajjal, flee from him. Where will he go? He will go to the qariyas. He will go to every qariya on earth. The Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the people will flee from Dajjal such that they will go to the mountains. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called, the people will flee from the Jal, and where will they go? They will go to the mountains. And at that time, Um Sharik, she when she heard this, she said an interesting question. Ya Rasulullah, fa'ayna al-Arab yawma idin. Where will the Arabs be? Where will the believers be? Where will the Arabs be? The Prophet, there will be very few of them because already before the Dajjal comes, there would have been, before he comes, a great war in which up to two thirds of humanity will be lost. And so, when two thirds of the humanity is lost, whatever is reserved or whatever is protected of that progenies of Islam, then they are the ones that are going to carry the torch on. And where will they go? They will go to the mountains. And the Prophet told us this in many narrations of his. People will do this on their own or they will do this in groups. It's better to do it in groups and it's better to be organized so that when that great war comes, you're already out of the city. Because as the Prophet said, وسلم, there will be very few Arabs, very few people left after these great wars. And if you're in the cities, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be in deep trouble. I don't have time to go into those narrations today, but I have done so in my previous videos. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Dajjal A'war. Dajjal is A'war. He has one eye. Aynun Yusar. He is blind from the left eye. Wa Jufa'u Sha'ar. And he has a lot of hair. Ma'ahu Jannah wa Nar. And he'll have heaven and hell. So he'll go to these cities that are in shambles, that are in desperation, and he'll fix them up and bring back technology. After the war, he'll bring back the Jannah. And the Prophet told us, don't take that Jannah, go to the fire. Go to the fire, meaning go to the mountains. That's the difficult. Go to the opposite of where he's going. He's going to make Jannah on earth. In the, these cities, every city he's going to go to. He's, and there, there are other narrations that talk about this. But today, my only point I want to emphasize and make clear is that the Prophet told us, when the Dajjal comes, you better be going the opposite direction. Which is not the cities, because that's where he's coming. He's coming to every ma major city. He's coming to your city. Oh Muslims, he's coming to your city. The Dajjal coming to your city. Don't let that happen while your eyes are wide open. My point here is that you have to be prepared to leave dunya in dunya and make preparations to leave the cities. And what is the universal of this in the Quran? The universal of this in the Quran is the idea of hijrah. When you're in a place and you're being oppressed, like the Muslims were being oppressed in Mecca, you make hijrah. When Musa alayhi he had his people, they were being oppressed. What did they do? They made hijrah. When your iman is being oppressed, you have to make hijrah. What did the Ashab al-Kahf do? They made hijrah. So you will have to make hijrah. When the Dajjal comes, he's going to test your iman in the city by making the cities beautiful and full of what it used to be. Because before he comes, it'll be desolate places. Okay? And then after he comes, he'll make it great. And people that reject him, right, they'll have nothing. 
right? And he's going to give you heaven and hell. And he'll tell you either you're with me or you go out and you can't have the treasures that I have. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in mentioning this in the surah before Surah Al-Kahf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says very clearly, إِن مِّن قَرِيَةٍ إِلَّا نَحْنُ مُحْلِكُوهَا There will be no qariya, again qariya, and there will be no qariya, which is where Dijjal will go to every qariya, إِلَّا نَحْنُ مُحْلِكُوهَا He will go to those, except we will destroy it. قَبْلَ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Except we will destroy it before the Day of Judgment. So be, and events will occur before the Day of Judgment, where all the big cities and all the cities will be destroyed. أو معذبوها عذابا شديدا Or we will punish it with a great punishment. وكان ذلك في الكتاب مصطورة That makes me shiver. And that is already written in a book. It's going to happen. Your city, my city, is going to be in deep trouble. Unless we find a way out. that I wanted to ask why is it already in trouble and another thing I'm trying to understand is is this Dajjal going to come in form of destruction or in form of of destruction that's going to cause war or it's going to be in form of war because at the end he says it's going to come and make the cities even more beautiful so if it's going to make it beautiful so does that come in terms of destruction destruction in the sense that uh, makes sin so sweet that you stray away from God or what exactly otherwise I mean it's scary at the end of the day it's scary that all these the, these are the things we have to face in future be it in the near future far future whichever future that is this is something that we have to enjoy endure during our path and how do we um, avoid such a thing um, what, is, what does Hijra mean and also, if people should leave the city, where should they go? To the mountains, to where? And will that Dajjal not reach them wherever they go after that? Let me know what you think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video. And if there's something you guys want me to react to, drop the link down below, and I'll be more than glad to react to it. you